So we're going to talk about injections in the shoulder. So typically the simple explanation of what's the injection, the injection is an anti-inflammatory. We call it steroids. It's not an anabolic steroid, right? It's not the same thing that the bodybuilders put in their body to get big and strong. It's a, it's a steroidal anti-inflammatory. So when we talk about, right, so you're going to take an Advil or a leave or whatever, we call those non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, right? So this is actually a steroidal anti-inflammatory, the other kind. And that's just the term because of how the molecule is shaped. So ideally, and what I would say patients oftentimes, this is sort of like taking an Advil and putting it right where you want it instead of taking it by mouth, getting it through the whole body, okay? So in the shoulder, there are three basic places where you can inject. Now there are other places, but this is kind of the general idea, the general thought process, okay? So when we have a rotator cuff irritation, so this is the rotator cuff, this is the ball, this is the socket, this is the biceps tendon, and this is the joint above the rotator cuff called the AC joint. And so the red, red arrows are where we're talking about the most common places we may inject. So the number one most common place is what we call a subacromial injection. What does that mean? So this is the acromion. We're gonna go underneath it, which is subacromial, and that's right on top of the rotator cuff. So if you have a problem with a rotator cuff, we're gonna do this subacromial injection, get this in anti-inflammatory fluid on top of the rotator cuff to decrease that rotator cuff tendonitis. That's the idea, okay? So that's probably the most common injection we do because the rotator cuff is the most common thing we see in shoulder problems, okay? So two, we may inject the biceps tendon sheath so the sheath that comes down here, the bicep goes through, they go up into the shoulder. So if we think we're having more anterior shoulder pain, we're having more biceps tendonitis, we may inject the sheath itself with steroid, inject the sheath with steroid. We want to be careful not to inject into the tendon itself. We inject the sheath of the biceps tendon there, and that can cause a lot of improvement if we're having predominantly biceps tendon tendonitis. And then we also can inject up here on top, so this is the AC joint, so this is the acromion, this is the clavicular or the collarbone here, and so sometimes we have pain on top of the shoulder, irritation of that joint, and we can inject that with steroid as well. And one more I didn't, admit, didn't mention, if we have arthritis in the joint, we can actually inject the joint itself, the glenohumeral joint, so glenohumeral joint, okay? And so, those are the four typical injections. And then the other question we get is, okay, well, how do you know you're getting that injection in the right spot, right? And so the shorter answer is, well, most of the time we do know, and most of the time it actually doesn't really matter that you're exactly in the right spot. But let's say, for instance, subacromial space. If you are an experienced injector, whether you're an orthopedist or a, or a extender or a... Um, uh, primary care doctor, if you do a lot of shoulder injections, this is one that's easy to tell in you're in the right spot. Now, sometimes we may use ultrasound. So there's ultrasound beams so you can kind of see where the injection is going. Sometimes we may use that, but I think typically most of us who have lots of experience don't need it for this one because it's so easy to feel the landmarks of where the injection is going. Now, up here, there are a few bumps around this joint. And so sometimes it's hard to tell what bump is before the joint or after the joint. So oftentimes I will use the ultrasound to guide me in this injection because this one's a little bit trickier. Some people who are really skinny, uh, really easy to see the anatomy, we may not use the ultrasound, but ultrasound is, is fairly common to use for the AC joint. The biceps, the bicipital groove is deep in here. And so oftentimes we'll use the ultrasound and we can actually see the little groove in the front of your humerus, the upper arm bone. We can see that groove and we can put the injection into the groove. So oftentimes we'll use the ultrasound for this. As far as the joint, the, the big joint, it just depends. Certainly there's a role for ultrasound in it. The key thing is, however, is your provider comfortable in giving the injection how, how they are giving the injection, he or she giving the injection. Um, there's nothing magical about using ultrasound. Ultrasound doesn't put it where, you, where it's supposed to be. It can help us assist in putting it. So if we talk about subacromial injections under ultrasound, 
Well, that may be just because the person who is giving the injection is, needs another, another cue on how to put it in there. Uh, but again, there's nothing magical about ultrasound other than trying to help us direct that needle. And sometimes we may need that help, but oftentimes we don't need that help. And lastly, we talk about how long is the steroid shot gonna last? And that's a great question. So the idea is that we wanna decrease the inflammation in the shoulder. So the, the injection can't be the end all be all of the solution. It can be part of the solution. So when I inject specifically subacromial injection around the rotator cuff, what I wanna do is get that injection in there, decrease the inflammation in the rotator cuff, give exercises or physical therapy, because while the rotator cuff is less inflamed, then we can strengthen the rotator cuff. So when that steroid actually starts to wear off, we're in a better position. We have a stronger rotator cuff than we did before the injection. So that's the general idea. As far as injection in the joint, well, you're not doing anything other than giving inflammation, anti-inflammatory there. So that may last six weeks, eight weeks. Um, I have patients who it doesn't work at all. And that's an important point to talk with the patients about. This injection may not help. Um, and I've also had people who say it lasts for a year. And there's, the steroid doesn't last for a year, but their relief for whatever reason does. And the other thing is, does it hurt? In general, if you are having someone who knows how to do the injection, it's a little uncomfortable, but it's not that bad. Uh, there are places around the body that, the, that an injection can hurt, right? There's, there's feet and toes and fingers. It's more painful. The shoulder in general is not a typically um, uncomfortable or overly painful injection. So if you're hesitating because you're worried about pain, I would recommend you go ahead and do it. Uh, as long as you feel comfortable with the person giving the injection.